So when we're adding and subtracting rational expressions, what we want to do is we want to be able to find a least common denominator. So here's the first one that I wanted to do. I have 4x on top and 36 subtracted from x squared on the bottom. And over here, I have 2 over x plus 6. 2 over x plus 6. Now, oftentimes, it helps to factor what we have before we get started. So what would x squared minus 36 factor to be? Well, we can keep the 4x on top the same, and we can factor the bottom into 6 plus x, 6 plus x, and x minus 6. On the other side, I have 2 divided by x plus 6. And now I want to make sure that the denominators can be the same. So what is the second fraction missing that the first fraction has? It's missing the x minus 6. They both have an x plus 6, but the second fraction is missing the x minus 6 on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of the second fraction by x minus 6. So when I do that, the top and the bottom are going to change. The first fraction I'm going to keep the same because it already has the least common denominator at the bottom, x plus 6 and x minus 6. And for the second fraction, what we can do is we can distribute the 2 to everything on the inside of the parentheses. So 2 times x is going to give me 2x, and 2 times negative 6 is going to give me negative 12. So I get 2x minus 12 on top. On the bottom, I'm going to have x plus 6, x minus 6. So now that the denominators are the same, I can add and subtract the numerators. So notice that I'm subtracting in the middle. I have 4x minus 2x, that's going to give me 2x, and I have a minus negative 12, which is a double negative, that's going to become a plus 12. And then I still have x plus 6 and x minus 6 at the bottom. Now, there's one more thing that we can do. And oftentimes, we can factor what we have at the end. So at the top of the fraction, I have 2x plus 12. I can factor that as 2 times x plus 6. Because I know that both of those numbers can be divided by 2. And the denominator is still x plus 6, x minus 6. So now what matches up on the top and the bottom? It's going to be the x plus 6. So I can cross those out. And my answer is now 2 over x minus 6.